Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Weight Watchers on a Budget video. So, this week, I, you know, th this is the thing. I, I don't know where this is going to progress from here. I am going to continue to do this. I want to do this this year to see to see how I can make changes, how I can make adjustments, but I don't want, and I am getting really positive feedback from these videos, and so I definitely want to do these because everybody says it's really eye-opening and it's really interesting to you, and so I want to continue doing this, but I don't want to for people to get, I don't know how, how to word it, like upset because this week I spent a lot more money on food, but I think that's going to happen and that's why I just, I want it, I, I really feel like these first couple months, maybe even three months, um, is going, is where I'm going to kind of get the lessons from this. How I can meal plan um, to be more economical and budget friendly uh, when I know, you know, I want to have some meals that cost a little bit more. Um, how I can place those in there and I'm gonna you know, eventually you know have this you know how you know this kind of price list basically of how much some of my favorite meals cost and then I can incorporate that incorporate that into my meal planning but until I kind of you know have these meals and get myself in kind of a rhythm and have my you know develop my spreadsheet uh, I'm not gonna have that tool yet and so hopefully all this makes sense so basically it, there's gonna be some weeks when it's gonna be a lot higher some weeks gonna be a lot lower so it's not about trying to improve and you know eat less 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 the cost because also seasonal and this is where this week's comes into seasonal food especially produce is gonna cost more some weeks than other weeks and so I have to figure out where I can, where I need to make some choices and where I am willing to spend more on or where I'm willing to wait until the prices come down lower and then spend the money then. So I don't want you guys, you know, to go into this and say, oh my gosh, she spent 10 plus more dollars this week than last week. This, you know, what, what's the point? So the whole point of this is nice um, that some weeks can cost more than others and as, like I said as a tool to to do my meal planning and then to get kind of these little like nuggets of knowledge out of them each week where I can look back and I can say okay why did this cost so much oh well because I bought this and if I would have waited until this time of year it wouldn't have cost so much if you guys have comments or anything down below please you know leave them um, and we can talk about it and I just like I said I just don't want people watching this and going into it and thinking that I'm failing because that's this is not really a challenge for me this is a just a tool that I want to use to try to figure out how I can meal plan on a budget so hopefully all that makes sense like I said if you have any more questions please just ask them down below and you know we can talk about them down there and if I need be you know I can do a kind of a follow-up video um, going over my thoughts. So let's talk about this week. And again, everybody seemed to like, really like the graphics last week that I used. So I will have um, graphics again throughout this video popping up kind of as a visual because everybody really liked especially seeing the meals and um, kind of what, you know, how, what, what does X amount of dollars looks like in meals. And so, and also a side by side from last week to this week and that kind of thing like I did um, last week. So everybody really liked that. So this week, um, my total meals, um, well first let me say, one of the things I did this week was for lunches, I ate pretty much leftovers every day. And that did affect my cost quite a bit. Um, so whether or not I do that again is a question. It was really convenient as far as um, meal prepping and convenience of, um, ha you know, of, it already being done basically because I just used leftovers but on the other hand I could have put those leftovers in the freezer like I did with one of the meals and then just I could pull them out for another dinner sometime or another lunch later on in the month or something like that so so my total meals this week costed me $72.50 um, it was $10.52 more than last week um, my average cost was of average cost per day so I was just taking the total divide by seven days and it came out to about ten dollars and thirty six cents per day 
which was $1.52 more per day than last week. Um, my breakfast totals $7.48, which was 17 cents more than last week. My lunch totals, and this is for all seven days, by the way, um, was $21.93, which was um, $7.30 more than last week. Um, dinner totals was $27.84, and that was $4.32 more than last week. My snacks totaled $15.25, and that was a dollar seventeen less than last week. Now, my snacks for those of you that are new um, do include my coffee. I don't include my coffee in my meals, especially since I don't really have it with my meals meals typically, except for sometimes breakfast. Um, but I usually have my coffee actually while I'm putting my makeup on and getting ready for work. So it's just usually I just drink the leftovers with breakfast. So I always call I always call coffee even in my Weight Watchers app as snacks. So that includes, so my snacks include, like I said, coffee and anything I have in between meals um, as a snack. Uh, my most expensive meal, at-home meal, I'm not counting, I do go out to lunch usually one day a week, and that's on Fridays, and we usually go out to dinner, or we usually go out to dinner once a month, and that's on a Saturday, and that'll be next weekend, um, but we do pick up food some sort of like fast food or convenience food on Fridays um, and I bring it home after work. So um, sometimes we'll have Subway, sometimes we'll have pizza, Taco Bell, you know, that kind of thing. And that's the day I use my weeklies typically. And so I only want to really reflect though in this Weight Watchers on a budget the food that I purchase at the grocery store and that I cook at home. So my most expensive meal at home was five dollars and twenty six cents and that was for spaghetti squash and we'll go into this in a second and my cheapest meal um, at home was forty two cents and that was oatmeal and a banana so um, let me go back also to the eating out thing so you'll see that most most expensive um, lunch this week was eight dollars and that was like I said a lunch out on a Friday and the most expensive dinner was seven ninety nine and that was for food um, last, Friday night that I brought home, um, so and it was like a Subway and some chips, and I came to $7.99. And so those meals, like I said, I don't count. So my most expensive day by far, of course, is going to be Friday. So when you guys see that, when I'm not circling on the graphic, when I'm not circling those meals, it's because Friday pretty much I don't count in this. Um, I count it in my totals, but I don't count it when I'm telling you guys about it. So I think you guys understand that. So my most expensive meal was spaghetti squash. So this is where it comes down to seasonal meals. So spaghetti squash right now is very expensive, and but it was just something I wanted, hadn't had in a long time, and I was just really craving it, so I got it. But that one spaghetti squash, and it was a little spaghetti squash. It actually only made three servings, so I had one for dinner, one for lunch one day, and then I put one and into the freezer. And so, and the, the chicken sausages I get, since they're only one point, I like to get those ones. And they are expensive. Well, they cost like three dollars and ninety-eight cents for six sausages in the package. And the spaghetti squash, like I said, it was like three dollars and ninety-eight cents for this little tiny spaghetti squash. I think the spaghetti squash was like a dollar, or no, like two nineteen a pound or something. It was a dollar, maybe a dollar ninety-seven a pound, something like that. It was a horrible price, but I didn't even think about it. I just grabbed it. So I think what I'm taking away from this week for sure is um, that I want to definitely spend time thinking about what is in season. So there are certain things that I will spend money on and that's the fruit, oranges, apples, and bananas. Those are a staple for me. Those are what keep me satisfied for lunches and snacks and breakfast and everything. And so I am I'm willing to pay the price for those. But things like spaghetti squash, um, maybe zucchini, yellow neck squash, those kind of things. I think I'm going to start buying them seasonal um, or when I see them on sale. And when our farmer's markets will be opening, we have two here in town and they will be opening around April. And that is when I buy, that's where I buy all my produce um, in between April and September. And so my costs will go down quite a bit once those open up and I can start shopping at them again. Um, and that's when I will do things like spaghetti squash and the zucchini and those kind of things. Um, so there's a tip right there, shop seasonally. Um, because $5.26, as you can see from the chart, um, was very expensive for um, what I normally have for my dinners. And it just, like I said, it was just a very expensive dinner. So, and that, 
Now for the cheapest meal, oatmeal and bananas. I didn't realize I had oatmeal in so long, but I I have three boxes of it that I need to eat up. I had no idea that oatmeal was so cheap. And these are the packages that I buy. And so the fact that they were so inexpensive, even buying the convenience packages, really shows me that maybe I need to start eating oatmeal a little bit more often to save money. And it may even be something where maybe looking at how cheap some of these meals are. So let's go into breakfast, and I will kind of go on to that some more. So my most expensive breakfast was $1.88, and that was one of those Sandwich Brothers Pita Pockets, yogurt, and a banana. But my least expensive, again, was the $0.42 cents for the oatmeal and the banana. So I'm thinking maybe there's sometimes I can incorporate breakfast for dinner. I used to do that all the time. Haven't done it in a long time just because I've been trying to find a lot of variety for my meals. And so I'm thinking that maybe... I need to look into that. So if I really have a week that I just need, you know, in between paydays maybe, maybe I can incorporate breakfast for dinner a couple days a week. It won't bug me. I can make something else for the family, but honestly the family likes breakfast for dinner as well. So I think I'm going to start looking at some of those options as well. Um, going to lunch, the total lunch was $21.93. Um, and again, with these pictures that you're seeing on the screen, it does not encompass all seven days. I'm just, I, um, can only fit five on the slide and so um, I just picked you know kind of a variety of meals so you guys could see them um, and my most expensive lunch was four dollars and sixty one cents and that's when I took the spaghetti squash leftovers to lunch to work for lunch that day um, the most the least expensive lunch was two dollars and thirty nine cents and that was the stuffed pepper casserole which we will get into how cheap that really is. Now the reason why it was $2.39 versus how much it was at dinner time was because I did pair it at lunchtime with some vegetables and some hummus and I believe a um, laughing or a mini, mini baby bell cheese and an applesauce. So I mean I had some kind of snacky stuff you know with it. Um, and another thing to note even though it wasn't the most expensive lunch um, another one that cost me quite a bit of money was the turkey taco salad, which I did have for dinner, so we'll go over that again in the dinner portion. But um, the turkey taco salad, I took it for lunch one day, and I could have brought that price down a lot lower, and I will talk about that more in the dinner thing going into some of the tips. So total dinner was $27.84. My most expensive dinner, again, was the $5.26 for spaghetti squash, and I already talked about how I could lower that price. Um, the least expensive was $1.82 and that was for the stuffed pepper casserole. So I had stuffed pepper casserole and a salad with it that night. Or no, I had oranges with it. I had some sliced up oranges. Because the stuffed pepper casserole is a really um, generous portion. When I make it, I do six servings and it has rice and all this other stuff in there. And um, it's a really generous portion. And so it only costs actually $1.32 a serving to make and so um but i do buy my rice when i buy the white rice or the brown rice or whatever kind of rice that i and i believe the only kind of rice i had in my pantry was some white rice so that's what i used i buy them in the big like 10 pound bags and so it's a lot cheaper it's like 10 cents a serving it is really cheap when you buy them that way so those were the dinners so going into the taco salad um, so it did it cost me four dollars and 25 cents for a taco salad so like I, even though it didn't rank in the higher most expensive meals, it was like the second on both lunch and a dinner because I had it for lunch one day and I had it for dinner the dinner another day. And so, but the reason, one of the reasons why it's so high is I used the bag salads for the base and I used the holy guacamole um, cups and those come in at 75 cents a piece. I could save points, Weight Watcher points, and I could save money if I would have just put sliced avocado on top of it. Um, cause those little cups, I think are three or four points. And so I could do like two points worth of avocado and, and could have smushed it up and put it on my salad. I would have been just as satisfied. Um, plus it would have been a lot cheaper. And so that is something I just had the guacamole cups cause my husband really likes them. So I used them, but, um, I'm thinking about buying avocados and trying to make my own guacamole. And cause my husband just really likes guacamole. So I could just make him make some. And if he really likes it, then I can just start doing it that way rather than, um, buying the little guacamole cups, which, because of convenience, they're a lot more expensive. Um, and also, I need to get out of the salad kit kick. It's, I, unless I can find them on sale, the regular price is either, um, usually the typical price is $379 or $374. Every once in a while, my friend Meyer, which is the same as Kroger, will have them on sale for two for six or two for five. 
So I think what I really need to start doing is telling myself, unless I find them on sale, I need to not buy them. Um, it's And it's something that I'm just going to have to get in the habit of, but I really like them. They're convenient. When I buy just romaine and kale and iceberg lettuce, and I just don't use it, and when I chop it up, it seems to like go bad faster. So I need to figure out, maybe get some of those food saver things that keep things fresher. I'm not sure. I'm going to kind of look into some ways. Um, but I did buy some salad kits this week already today. I went grocery shopping today and I did buy three of them. Um, but I'm thinking that I'm going to start shopping the sales when it comes to those. Really start looking at the sales ads. Even if it means going to an extra store, that's what I'm going to need to do. And Or I just need to get into the habit of just using the other the other items, you know, lettuce. Because I could save a ton of money. Because the lettuce, the salad kits are costing me about $1.50 a serving. And... Um, because I eat more, you know, I don't use the little, you know, little packages, mostly the lettuce that I use. And sometimes I'll use a little bit of the little packages, but I don't use the dressing at all. Um, but if you buy like romaine and iceberg lettuce, it's, you're talking pennies is what it costs you for a big salad. So I really need to get out of that habit. And that's where I could have saved some money this week for sure. And again, then the spaghetti squash, the seasonal things. So that is how the meal stacked up for the week. Um, as far as groceries, I did spend more on groceries this week. Um, well, this would have been last Saturday of groceries um, for this week of food. So I spent $99.78. So I believe last week, I didn't write this down. I'll have it up on the screen though. Um, I think it was about $88. Now, the reason why I spent more was because I honestly was just lazy and didn't want to go to another store. So we have a local chain grocery store here. Um, I say chain because there's like three of them, but it's all in, you know, within a couple hundred mile radius of the town I live in. And um, the prices are really cheap because you bag your own groceries. And so I just, but I had to go to Walmart last week as well to pick up a bunch of prescriptions. And then I had to go to Costco to get a few things. And so I, I was by myself and instead of just going to the three different stores, I just said, I'm just going to go to Walmart and get my groceries and then go to Costco. And I spent more because in my town, like I said, that other store is a lot cheaper. And I even looked back on my grocery haul video to see everything. And I was just amazed because those th I didn't buy anything really more besides like the spaghetti squash. I didn't buy anything more than what I normally do, but it's just the difference in the prices was just amazing so so anyway that's you know that I, I didn't make that mistake again this week today I went to three different stores I had to go Walmart again to pick up some more prescriptions and I went to the local chain grocery store Walmart and Costco so I went to all three I'm just gonna need to do it um, and they're right by each other so it's not even spending more in gas literally the one grocery store is here and Walmart is just across the parking lot so I'm not spending any more in gas and going to the separate stores it's more of just I just didn't want to do it. So I'm not going to make that mistake again. So anyway, so total to date that I have spent this month, and this is on Weight Watcher Food Only, is $587.86. Um, next, so this, so I went shopping today. So today would have been the last day. So I will have that total for you next week when we do our month wrap up for the entire month. And we'll have the total of how much I spent this month on just Weight Watcher Food Only. And I think I spent, I've spent about $1,100, almost $1,100 on other food, um, or like, you know, household and other food. So I have spent a little bit more than what I wanted to spend, or no, maybe that's total to date. I think it's, oh yeah, it's over $1,000 total to date of everything, of other food and Weight Watcher food. And when I say other food, it also includes all of our toiletries and household stuff non and food that my family eats that I don't eat. So I think the total comes over a little over $1,000. And my goal was to try to keep it right between $800 to $1,000 for both. I do this for a few months to figure out how I'm going to um, cut my budget when it comes to things like that. And maybe I need to pull out and see how much I'm spending on household, how much I'm spending on food, and how much I'm spending on Weight Watcher food. So maybe I have to do that. I think I'm just gonna have to take a few months to figure out my pattern. So. Anyway, I'm rambling now, but you'll see everything on the screen, and I hope you're still enjoying these videos and that they're helpful to you, and I, um, sorry this week's a little bit longer than normal, 
again, I will see you next week for our monthly wrap up. We will do a, I will show you how much, we'll see how much I spent for the entire month. Um, the month technically ends on, I guess, on the 31st, so that would be Tuesday. But I think since I bought groceries today for the whole week next week, I'm just going to, I'll go a little bit into February um, because that's what I bought food for. So we'll have that in the next weekend. I will be doing another monthly stock up. We'll see how I do as far as trying to get as many things as I can for the month. So I will talk to you all later. And again, I hope you are enjoying these videos. And I will see you next week in another Weight Watchers on a Budget video.